Good morning guys from beautiful Beirut. Today I'm going to be going to a luxury resort with my friends. We are heading out of Beirut and we are going to a place called Zahle. I think I pronounced that right. I'm not sure if you, you, you do use the throat to use Zahle. Hopefully that's right. Anyway, they're on their way. Big group of us are coming. They're picking me up from Beirut and then we're gonna head south, I believe. So that's Chalo, Chale, Yala. Sabaho. Good morning, good morning my friend. Good morning, how, how are you, you doing? Bro? Sabaho, brother. Here we go. Welcome, sire. How are we? How are we? Never been better. Yeah, Good morning, Good Harry. You. Your, Good Arabic, you. your Arabic's gotten much better, Thank bro. You, bro. Thank, Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. All right, guys, we're going to do a little introduction for everyone who doesn't know who these people are. We've got the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Yad Ventures. Yo, what's up, yeah. guys? We've got Fuad, the king of Lebanon. We've got sire. Keith Korn, my friends. How are we doing? And we've got Mabel. Hello. So we are heading to Zahle. Did I get that right? Yeah. Do you guys want to know a few facts about Zahle? Mm -hmm. It's got a population of 150,000 people. Third largest city in Lebanon. Ooh. Wait, I've got more. We're going to start calling you Fouad. There's more. Uh, its uh, size is 18 square kilometers. Whoa. And the elevation is a thousand meters above sea level. Oh, that's wow. That's All right. All right. I did my I did my homework, guys. Now he's Harry the Lebanese. <laughs> That's called the bride of the Mekah Valley. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Older than the trees, younger than the mountains, grown like a ridge, country road. We're going to get copyright strike. Oh, to, to the place I belong. <laughs> Where is Virginia? <laughs> Mount you okay, Fuad? <laughs> Take me He's home, country road. Alright guys, we're just stopping off for some food. I have no idea where we are, we'll find out. Um, Fuad says this is a really good space for some food. We'll head in there. What is this place? This place, how do you say it? Makes Lebne, halloum Lep sandwiches, Ooh. and goat Lebne, and Arisha. Arisha, I love it. It's cheese with honey. Oh yeah? Oh man. You're I'm getting that. But guys, right. when, you, when you come to Lebanon, you better do some diet before coming. And <laughs> when you leave Lebanon, you better do some diet. Because one thing for sure, you gotta take it for granted. You gotta gain some weight. Sabaho. Sabaho. Kifak. Meshad hal. Liam. Good. Good. I like your mustache. Nice mustache. Very nice. Good. <laughs> nice. So, what, what would you recommend? All right, first of all, we start with the sandwich lovely. Okay. Yo, come here, guys. Oh, here we go. We got some Iraq on the on the back as oh, well. Yeah. Oh, that's to finish us off. Zahle is well known for the Arab. Oh yeah. Look at the bread. Oh, bit of paratha. Oh, here we go. He came prepared. Yeah, he's ready. He was ready. He was ready for three vloggers to turn out. Oh my God. <laughs> Where is Lebne? It's this. <laughs> oh, the legend. It's all about the community. This is your wife? That's him, bro. Can no, next, oh, next to him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at the Lebne. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Can we have the Lebne first? How he spread it. That's we got the vlogger squad going on. This guy is like, what is happening right now? It's like got a news crew on him. Exactly, I get every angle. The YouTubers are looking at you, Taibe. Look at this guy's. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This place is a legacy. So we got a lot of drink selections, but Max seems to be reaching for... What, what's this one? El Maza. Actually, ah. this one is a uh, special type of water. It's called Lebanese Mai. Lebanese oh, yeah. water, bro. Yeah. Well, as we it's, say, Kesak. Uh, Kesak is 5 p.m. somewhere, bro. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Guys, it's 5 p.m. somewhere. We're doing our mazas. Who's in? Oh, oh, hell yeah, bro. Yeah, there we go. Salah, yes. shukran, shukran. Oh, yeah. We can call Mac Malik al Maza. Sahten. Uh, is it called Lebne? Oh, yeah, Lebne. Lebne, okay. With, uh, it's got like vegetables in, tomato, yeah. pepper. AKA the bank, bro. You're about to be sahten in that thing. Mmm, that's so creamy. It's like almost like a yogurt. Yeah, exactly. So or this yogurt. Thing, this thing for the is Americans. A dried yogurt. My mom does it at home. Yogurt or yogurt? 
Americans say yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah. Uh, we, we'll say yogurt for now. Yogurt. Um, right, so let's keep it that way. Dried yogurt and dried yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you add salt with it. Yeah, it's very nice. Yes, it is natural. This is one of the best in the world. Yeah, very good. Really very good. thin, very easy to eat. Nice little snack. What we got next, bro? Oh, cheese and honey. Oh, wow. Look, look, look at the beauty. What type of cheese is that? It's called Arisha. Oh, yeah? Look, look at the honey. Oh, my days. What? Wow. Get that thing loaded up. <laughs> this is Ammul Yes. He's the best. The best. Merci. Can you tell us more about the place we're staying in today? We're going to a place called Serenity. It is a uh, special type of place in Zala, a very modern design. If you're coming to Zala, you can go with either traditional design houses, guest houses, things like that, or you also have a modern option. So we were nicely invited by the guys who actually own Serenity, which is like a, uh, a they have an infinity pool, like a bar, restaurant, and then they also have like these bungalows. We're actually going to be staying in the bungalows tonight. Oh, so it's going to be yeah. extra. And we're going to get the like, experience from Zala locals. Oh, yeah. I'd say. The kings of Zaleh? Yeah, Malik al Zahleh. Malik al Zahleh. Alright, gonna give it a go. I'm gonna do Fouad's method. You gotta smell it first. Then you gotta kiss it. Oh, treat treat it well. I <laughs> kissed it as well. The British kids. The French kids. Oh my god. That's incredible. <laughs> That's like it's like cheese, but it's sweet cheese. I have never experienced that flavor ever in my life. Very sweet, like obviously. You guys saw how much honey he put on there. That's so good. Wow. It's almost like kind of reminds me of like a crepe. A bit like a crepe. You know a crepe? Yeah. Yeah, like a crepe. That's a little bit like a sweet crepe. Sweet. Yeah. So this is. Zahle only in Zahle or you can uh, get it? This place is only in Zahle. Then this food you can only uh, get. Anywhere in restaurants, but they make it here really good. Okay. They make it with love. Thank you for hooking us up with this spot, bro. Merci. Thank you. Merci. Merci. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Alaf Salah. <laughs> All right guys, after a probably like a one hour total drive into the mountains up near, we're kind of going towards Syria, not not that near Syria, but like towards Syria. And um, this is the, kind of, it's kind of like a pool, beach, lounge club. We'll find out, you can hear it, but yeah, I think we just gotta check in and chill for a little bit. And it's really hot. Sabah, how are you? Sabah, how Sabah, how are you? All right, bro, we have arrived. What's the name of this? Serenity. Serenity. And it's in, in Zahle. In Zahle. So this is Zahle here. With a beautiful view. Okay. Look at these views, guys. Is this, is this uh, facing towards Syria? Or? Yes. You know this series of mountains that you're seeing at the end. Yeah. It's the natural border, natural geographical ah, wow. border of Lebanon and Syria. So there's no like fence or anything. You could just cross the border if you wanted to. Take. Well, if you can climb the mountains. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, well, that's, a, that's... Uh, there is there is official borders, of course, uh -huh. some portals, but like. Nobody would go into these yeah, mountains. Yeah, yeah. So it's like that's an actual like border how it's supposed to be. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's not just like you could walk over really easily. However, it looks close, but it's not close. <laughs> no, no. You know what I mean. So we got the pool area over here. We have got some chill out area, a little bar over here. Hello. And this is the accommodation. We have got two bungalows. We got. I don't know if you can see guys, but yeah, we got a nice bed here, double bed. We got a sofa over here, TV. Fire for in the winter, I guess. We won't be firing that up anytime soon. Kitchen. And um, oh yeah, kitchen. Yeah, uh, small refrigerator. Aircon. Oh yeah. And a neat bathroom. Of course, yeah. So it's like just a little romantic getaway for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is. I'm gonna sleep it's, outside. Oh, <laughs> it's scary. The boys. How we doing? Hello, <laughs> Hello Sire. Jeez, you scared me, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Did you not see me through there? No, no, uh, you can't see. It's tinted. Uh, it's like a, a mirror tint. <laughs> All right, guys. And let me just show you a little bit more of this. Uh, I guess we call it like a, a... I still don't know what to call it. Like a beach club, pool club. There's no beach, though, so it can't be a beach club. But like the setting here is unreal. Lots of families here. Um, and look, this is the pool area. It's kind of in like a unique area because we got like... Lots of residential houses, 
up in the mountains and then it's like a little oasis in the middle of nowhere super nice so i really want to just jump in all right guys before it gets too hot One of my favorite things about this place is they've got a pool bar. So you, you can just be chilling in the pool and you can just drink in the pool, you know. It's it's convenience at its finest. Oh, and it looks like it's ice cold. An ice cold, ice cold? Ice cold, nice cold, hey. Cheers, bro. Oh, here we go. Cheers. Merci, Kaye. Thank you, Pete. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Cheers, cheers. Whoa. Oh, let's make the good tradition. Cheers. 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 For an absolute vibe here, you can see the background behind me. This is the border between Lebanon and Syria. It's really cool, beautiful views. What do we think, boys? Ratings out of 10? How's this compared to the rest Bro, of Lebanon? Oh, we are vibing. Zahne's yeah. got its own special charm. We're right here looking out into farmlands. We've got mountains here. We've got vibey music. We've got the whole squad here. This is its own vibe here, bro. It's its own country. You go up to Patron, it's a different vibe. Yeah, hello, Sala. Such a commentator voice. Yeah, like, oh, you're, yeah. You're just explaining everything so quick. Yeah, yeah exactly. And this is bro. the lady of Zahle behind, uh, next to you. Oh, yeah, the lady of Zahle? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. As a golden rule, French fries for starters. <laughs> <laughs> the typical uh, Lebanese French meal? French yeah, good. French fries. No <laughs> we can do like combo appetizers. Yep. There's like tacos, quesadillas, shrimps. Ooh, little, little, oh, little yeah. tacos, oh, yeah. little tacos, little yeah. tag daddies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tacos, mat sticks, you're speaking my language. And french fries. <laughs> and french fries. We're in Mexico, bro. <laughs> oh yeah. Cheers. Do you have hummus, bro? Yeah. Hummus. Hummus? We have hummus, yeah. Have Ooh. French fries. Oh. We're going to send them some like food. Because we're going to order combo appetizers. For first, as starters. I have a feeling we're going to get full on the stars. Uh, yeah, young yeah. man next to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, young man for ads. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh. That's an American right oh. there. I'm seeing some mud sticks. The I'm food has arrived. Right. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, guys. Hummus? Let's scan the parameters. Let's do a strategy. Right, the first strategy. Oh, Harry. Yeah. What, what, what right. are we going in for first? You go first, you bring the bread, you put three fries, dip it in hummus, thank me later. Three three fries, you yeah. gotta be specific. Three fries. You go for four, wrong move. It's always about measurement. <laughs> what, what have we got here? Tacos. No, those are tak daddies. Tak daddies. daddies. Some edamami. Oh, edamami. Ida, edamami. Edamami. And uh, quesadillas, quesadankas. <laughs> and uh, well, some hum dank and some French dankers. Oh, yeah. French dank is done. Oh, we've got some sauce as well, bro. Yeah. Oh, brain. you don't need. Oh, that looks brain, like brain sauce, bro. Mayonnaise. Anybody? Mayonnaise. Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for you, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna do the honors for the sire, the amazing oh, Harry Jigger. Shukran Khaye, merci Khaye. Enta Khaye. Enta Khaye. Khaye Asri, my original brother. <laughs> Oh, it's wow. all about art. Hola. What is Hola. art? Hola. Guys, you Thank should you. know that Lebanese food is all about creativity. You can mix everything together. This is like, uh, this is a lesson. I'm getting a lesson in food eating right now. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Fries, I hope you can smell it in the bread, camera, guys. and hummus. You already know, this is just carbs. Bro, oh my god, <laughs> bro, that's like incredible. Wow, is that like a famous thing in, or is this is this a like Fuad special? You, like I told you, it's all about creativity. You yeah, can bro. mix everything together, and everything is so good. You're a genius, a living genius. Yeah. Well, you know, like what what's also special about Lebanese cuisine is that the Lebanese cuisine itself respects all types of diets. If you're vegan, if you're vegetarian, if you eat meat also, mm. there's all types of options. 
lots of different types of meats. Yeah, I mean like seafood. Yeah, yeah. If you're vegetarian, you can you can have uh, fries and hummus. Oh yeah. Or other like kitchen delights and even sweets uh, and normal food. And it's like it has so many options. That is amazing, man. Yeah. Living the dream, guys. Living the dream. You can see, guys, the sun is setting, and you can see the the the, the mountain in the background has gone like a shade of pink. So beautiful. This is incredible, guys. Such a great experience. Sai, what are we going in for first? It is time to do a little sa penning. I see you eyeing up those tuck daddies. Nope. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Middle name tuck daddy, last name tacos. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Zabadas? Zabadas. Oh, cheers, bro. Your favorite, man. Cheese sticks. Oh, ooh. Yeah, it's dank as far, isn't it? Mm. My middle name's cheese sticks. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you that, cheese sticks. Uh, you know what it is. Explosion of flavors. Got like meat in there, got veg in there. The crispy taco shell. This is a feast, and this is just the starters, guys. Merci, Chaye. Ooh, look at this. We've got salmon, potatoes, and some veg. All right, guys, we're gonna go for a nice bit of this salmon. I already, when I cut it, it was so easy to cut, so you can just tell it's gonna be really nice. Mmm. Oh, whoa, that's a nice bite there, bro. That sauce is so nice. What, what is that sauce, do you think? Like a... Well, I would definitely know the name of the sauce. I don't know, but it's uh, unique to Lebanon for sure. Anyway, very, very nice, very tender, very easy to eat, and a healthy meal. Nice to have a healthy meal here in Lebanon for once. Exactly, exactly. It's easy to get on those pizza burger trains, yeah, you know? Yeah, the hummus train, uh, it keeps on going. Exactly. I think it, look, it looks like teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki? Yes. Really? Yes. Let me, let me, wait. What have you got, bro? Wait, well, I got steak. Oh, you gotta, you gotta try it. You the two men have got steaks. And of course, gin and basil. This is like a typical Lebanese drink. Yeah. And teriyaki. Really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Bro, you well, there you go. The gin and basil, though, bro. Gin and basil is a one of a kind. When I first had it one year ago, I went to Greece right after. I was like, I need a gin and basil. Yeah. I only drink that now. You know, what's a gin and basil? And then you come back here. Like, mm. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, the best way I can describe it is kind of like a gin and lemonade drink but it doesn't feel like there's any alcohol in so it's very easy to drink and it's just got like a lemony lemonadey taste to it uh, but not fizzy so it's super super nice very easy to drink and as you can see we've all got it and you, you can get it in like a big jug like a pitcher so so good and we're, we're being treated so well the staff are incredible having such a good time great vibe looking over and you can see obviously the lights I'm not sure how visible it is but the lights have come on just incredible sublime views all right guys so my dessert has arrived where, where are you where's your dessert is it it's still coming this is just for me try my game so we got four courses just for me uh, i don't know about the other guys this this looks like halloumi Oh, that's pepper, dude. Pepper, I thought it was pepper. This is Lebanese. Yeah. We've got some crepe. We've got melon, Lost watermelon. Bread French. It's called oh, pepper, dude. French, oh, yeah, uh, French, 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 French toast. French, yes. You guys better okay. watch out. Here's going to try and eat every single bite of these. So. <laughs> I'm going in. Every man for themselves. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys. Good morning. It is the next day. We had a fairly chilled evening, just drinking and eating, having a good time and then had a really nice sleep, really comfortable bed, and we are back for breakfast. Sabaho. Sabaho there. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> How was your trip? Um, That's called natural coffee. <laughs> <laughs> had too many uh, beers last night, I think. Mm -hmm. So um, we've already dug in a little bit. I've already had some, but I'll just go through because this is a typical Lebanese breakfast, yeah? Mm -hmm. And it's very like lots of beans, chickpeas, lots of different sauces. And the best bit, you can just dip it in, Fouad's been teaching me how to do it. Go on, show me. Right. Oh, should I show you? Actually, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. I need one, on. more, one, more, one more example. Okay. Because when you do it, it is like an art, bro. It is, it is satisfying to watch. Oh yeah, could, do you know the names of each one? Yes. So, Lebne. Lebne, jam. Jam. Jam in Lebanon, you say it, you, you say mrabba. Mrabba. This yes. one's the one that makes your food. Soap. This is balila. This is yeah. full. There you go. Choo choo! Oh man, I'm just feeding them. Mmm. Quite light. 
Really nice. You don't want a heavy breakfast. And so this is perfect. And you have the different options of the flatbread and the toast. And of course, the espresso. How's it going down there, Sire? Oh yeah? Ask Orgele. Hey. Orgele. Orgele. <laughs> yeah, this is lovely, guys. We're living a good life over here. Yeah. I'm sorry, I roasted you. I was, I was trying to flirt the keys. <laughs> and we have Lebne. Yummy, yummy. yummy. <laughs> Which is your favorite, bro? I think I can see your favorite. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, you tell me, bro. <laughs> the plates don't lie. Thank you, bro. Merci. Merci, nice Claire. Nice to meet you, bro. Feel home when you come here to Had an incredible stay, and I have to say, the staff here are the best thing about this place. So nice staff, and obviously, the views, the food, vibe. Really? Thank you, the bro. Music. Mate, incredible. And like, honestly, the staff here, literally, so Thank kind. Thank you, man. Thank so. you, man. And uh, uh, whenever you come here to Lebanon, I really feel home. Merci. You visit us even for a beer, for a coffee. If you don't have time, just feel at home. Merci, Khaye. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, Hello, Doge. See you, buddy. It's the, uh, it's the Doge that's the. Uh, I can't remember. It's like a. It's a cryptocurrency. What's the. I don't know what the breed is. Chaye, we're Hi. off to now. Zahle. Yeah, guys, so if you're coming to Zahle, make sure you check out Serenity. You can see they're setting up for a big night tonight. Um, but anyway, now we are off and we're going to explore a little bit more of Zahle and show you guys the food. And there's actually some pretty cool spots to go to. Let me just get past this. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're heading to Zahle, which is where you can see in, in the front here and explore the city. It doesn't really look like a city to me. It feels like more of a town that's like very spread out, but apparently this is what it's like in Lebanon. More spread out as you go into the mountains. Let's do Yalla. this. Yalla, bro. But could you tell us some facts about Zahle? Uh, it, is, it is located in the, like, you can say the middle of the Bekaa Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, Zahle is well known for its uh, rivers and it's for its Arab. What were you saying yesterday about the name? The, the, the bride of the Bekaa. The bride of the Bekaa. Yep. There we go. The because most factual man. It's, it's the most beautiful mm -hmm. city in Bekaa. Okay. And they refer it to as the city of Zahle. City of Zahle. Alright guys, we've arrived in Zahle. You can see it's actually the area that I was showing you earlier it isn't really Zahle, it's kind of like the other side. So we've come, it's basically like mountainous. And uh, as we were walking through the, uh, sorry, driving through the uh, city, you can see it's very modern very uh, like developed there's a lot of um, places where you can exchange your money and uh, we're gonna head to the river to show you guys the river because apparently that's one of the best things to do here here we go guys river it's pretty uh, pretty low low well, tide yeah it's a, it's a summer so you know it's not raining and there's no ice everything melted during spring I want to do like uh, river river rafting oh that? yeah there is river rafting in uh, really? northern Bekaa oh nice I did it two times in my life it's interesting and do you know the history of this? So actually, King Arthur of the Ottoman Empire was uh, baptized in this river. Arthur of the Ottoman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, bro. Trust me. Alright. <laughs> How is Arthur in the Ottoman? <laughs> I'm joking. Damn, if there's one person you can't uh, make up facts around, it's Fuad. <laughs> Look at this. We've got really beautiful uh, features here as well. Like. Oh yeah, that's it. That's that's where the river is. Oh really? We, we, we haven't even experienced the best of it yet? Oh no. Oh well. Oh casino? Or is that actually... Well... Is that not the English it's not, word? It's, it's, it's not like... Casino is like a restaurant. Big restaurant. Oh, fancy okay. one. You know? Ah okay. It's not where you can you can bet money. No. Here we go. We have some street food There's here. There's only one registered, registered place in Lebanon for the casino. It's called oh, really? Casino de Libor. Casino okay. of Lebanon. We have some nice little nuts here. Oh, little street seller. Yeah. And you can see like the cascading cliffs in the background and stuff. Kind of cool. Sabaho. Kivak. There we go. Sabaho. Kivak. Alhamdulillah. Meshat hal. All right, guys. This is beautiful. Oh, look at this waterfall. Oh wow. Look at this. Little dipski. Yeah. I'd, you want to go? I'd say I would. Yeah, I'd go in right we're now. We're gonna buy some watermelons and put. Oh, really? Me too. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. You, you want to buy some watermelons and put them in that the water? That water looks so cold lake? and fresh. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Kifak. Measure the hell? Mumkin. Shwe shwe. Mumkin has back a wahed. Bule? Bule. Booza. 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 What flavor do you want? What is your most popular? 
popular is a traditional ice cream in Brazil, uh, Lebanese. Ashta and almond. Which okay. One, okay. Almond, one of those, please. Ashta or almond? Um, almond. Yeah. Merci, Chaye. You are from where? From England. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. You are from Zahle? Yeah. Awesome. There we go. Perfect. Merci. Oh, look at that. Almond. I love I love nuts. I've been having nuts so often here in uh, Lebanon so far. So they must love nuts here. You can see like as we're walking, lots of nut sellers. Let's try it. And they, they love to have pistachios on it, on like their ice cream. Whoa. Mmm. It's got like a sweety vanilla taste and then the almond comes through. A little bit of caramel sauce on there. Look at all those almonds. Oh, pistachio, maybe. Oh, sorry, mm. pistachio. Oh, oh my god. Merci. Oh, look at that. I think this is the Thank best you. ice cream in there. Really? Okay. There we go. You heard it here. Award winning. Wow. There is so much pistachio on that. It's just filled with pistachio. But pistachio is like my favorite now, so I'm not complaining. It's just like 80% pistachio, 20% ice cream. Oh. Perfect on a day like today. And you can just see very like old cobbled streets, very like a uh, white stone. It's beautiful. I feel like I'm, I've traveled back in time. That's spout, so you go. Mm. No way. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> Do it like this. I hope it works with me. <laughs> You're like a great dog. You see how it's, it bubbles up a little bit? Go further away. Right, you gotta go. Go, further. Oh, go, go further. Go further. Go further. Go further. Damn, bro. Oh, all right. Well, you got all right. I got this. Hey, hey, hey. Give me a chance. Yalla. We can do it, bro. Bring it way higher up in the air, bro. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, like whoa. a fish. Oh, oh. There he is. I forgot to. Um, no, it's Yad's turn. Oh, no, it's the turn. No, it's the Yad's turn. Yad is like a fish. Let me see. Let's try this. Prepare it. Oh, I better get oh. some. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh. He's, he's dumping half the water out. Oh. 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 Only Fuad oh. got it. My Mabs. Come on, it's let's really try. It's You're awesome. Lebanese, so I bet you'll get it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh barely, hey. Enough. <laughs> There's no water yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, after you drink something, you say Saha. 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 All right, guys. Finished off the lovely ice cream. Thank you to Saya for paying. Shukran move. Hey, Tikram Ein Kun. You're almost welcome. So as you walk up, you got these nice little restaurants. We just walked into this restaurant even though we're not eating. But I just wanted to show you, it's a restaurant overlooking the river either side. Such a nice vibe and you can see they've uh, they've set up for probably a, a busy night. It's Friday night and it, I, I'm clear, it, I don't know if you heard me earlier, but it's, a restaurant is called a casino. So uh, you won't be putting $100 on black here. You'll be putting $100 on the seafood linguine. This is so beautiful. I love the like colors of the like the green and the white stone. They like complement each other. Feels like that's very Lebanese, like the the white stone and the green, like the green of the cedar trees. C cedar, cedar. Did I say? All right, guys, we were just walking back, and it's been a really nice, peaceful walk down here. There's no cars or anything, so super just chilled out. And now we're just gonna head back to the car, maybe check out what there else there is. But uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it. I'm glad we came in um, instead of just staying in the hotel. How would you guys compare this to the rest of Lebanon? Like, is this Ooh, one of the best? Honestly, or it's one? completely different. Like, uh, this is like mountain towns, kind of a romantic city. Just walking right. through this area, the first impression of it. But like, for example, in Patron, you're going to get a lot more like expats or like foreign. Are there a lot of uh, Lebanese that are living in like Australia, Canada, uh -huh. US, whatever, and they come back. On and holiday. Beach, like beach fives, beach clubs, a little more high end. Everyone's in golf carts, riding around in tuk tuks. Here's a little bit more mountain vibes, relaxed. Like just the Chill. daily life seems a little more low key. Uh huh. And does this area get like chilly in the winter? Yeah. It snows. It snows here. Yeah. 